Hi, we're here at PTC LiveWorks. I'm here in Boston. We have robots running uh, around us. And I'm here with Karen Levitt. She's from Lotus Robotics. Karen, welcome and a pleasure to be here. We see a lot of, let's say, warehouses. Um, they are efficient right now, but this can be much more improved. But they don't want to change the warehouse itself. How can IoT and machine learning help these warehouses? Well, you know, it's a, it's a combination of a lot of different factors. So the warehouses are efficient for a time, but the warehouses that we work in tend to be e-commerce warehouses. And because e-commerce is growing at such a fast rate, it doesn't take very long for the efficiency of those warehouses to bend under, under the strain. So what they're always looking to do is finding ways of, in, of introducing new automation to improve the efficiencies. Um, as you can see, we have autonomous robots. They're self-driving vehicles, mm -hmm. essentially, that run through the warehouse. Uh, and so they leverage machine learning in a number of different ways. Obviously, they have to navigate uh, through the warehouse, and they, they have to be able to see dynamically changing factors within the warehouse. It could be that, for instance, a vlogger drops in and stands where they thought there was a clear <laughs> aisle, and they have to get around him. Makes sense. Um, but, no, more, but there are common things happening to dynamically change the layout of the warehouse all the time. Um, there are different types of equipment moving through, things like fork trucks. There are humans moving through. They're pushing carts. There's new merchandise coming in. Somebody's going to drop a pallet. So the robots have to constantly be reassessing their world all the time. These robots do it at 10 hertz, 10 times a second. They're processing their, their perspective of what they're seeing, and then they're sharing that perspective with all of their other robots because the robots yeah. are working together as a fleet. And how does it change the process, and what's the impact? So the, the way that it changes the process is when they do see something that's out of place, like people standing in the middle of the warehouse, they will navigate around us. They'll also alert the other robots to the fact that there may be an obstruction, so the other robots will dynamically rechart their entire path through the warehouse so that they avoid this congested area. And the picking, how does that change? The picking changes, the, it, typically in a warehouse today that's not automated with robots, it's a, it's a very manual process. There's Correct. a human that's dragging a cart through the warehouse, the cart gets very heavy. The human walks about 10 to 15 miles a day. The robots take almost all of that walking off of the humans. The robots will go to the location in the warehouse. They'll indicate to the worker what needs to be picked. So the human is still doing the, the motion requiring a great deal of manual dexterity. They're doing the pick. They put it into the robot, and then the robot is responsible for the conveyance of that. And how much does this gain in productivity? Well, what we're seeing is what our customers are, are seeing is two to three times the productivity of humans working without the robots. Um, you know, they, the human is really able to focus most of their time on the task at hand instead of a lot of the wasted time of walking between them, of considering their options of what they have to do. The robots are not only carrying the merchandise, but they also carry instructions to the worker about what needs to happen. Karen, thanks a lot for your insights. Thanks. Thank you for watching from PTC LiveWorks here from Boston. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.